Hello, and welcome to another episode of Project Ready TV. I am your host today, Tedra Coakley, and I am so excited to take you guys on a tour of one of the most illustrious historically Black college and universities, Hampton University. I must admit, though, I am a little biased because I graduated from there in 2008, and I have to say that those four years there were some of the best I have experienced, and I can't wait to show you guys just a little bit of why that is. So let's get started. I want to give you guys a little bit of background information on the university. So it was founded on April 1st of April. 1868 in Hampton, Virginia, and it was called Hampton Normal Agri excuse me, Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute. It was actually founded by Samuel Armstrong, and this was right around Civil War time. And there was a lot going on, but education um, was very important. So they started as a small school and they grew to what it's known as today. And the current president is Dr. William R. Harvey. As of fall of last year, there were 4,293 students enrolled with a freshman class of 927 students. So if you're looking for a smaller university so that you can get uh, more of that one-on-one -on -one attention from a professor, Hampton is a great school for that. Um, some of our notable alumni include Booker T. Washington, the editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine, Angela Burt Murray, Septima P. Clark, who was an educator and civil rights leader, and Wanda Sykes, who's an Emmy Award-winning comedian. So now let's get into admission because you need to know what they're going to accept for you to get in, right? So... If you want to attend Hampton University, what you first need to do is fill out an online application. Um, there is a signature page that you must sign and complete. There is a non-refundable application fee of $50 and they only accept cashier's check or money orders. You will also need an official high school transcript and standardized test scores. However, if you decide to use the test optional policy, you don't have to submit those. If you have a cumulative GPA of at least 3.3 or you rank in the top 10% of your class. You will also need one letter of recommendation from your high school guidance counselor or a high school teacher. For the essay, you have an option of doing an autobiographical essay or um, an essay that is between 250 and 500 words responding to the question of if your name were an acronym, what would it stand for and how would it reflect your strengths and personality? Another optional choice for you is to submit a photograph that best represents you and, a, and you have to provide a 140 character tweet length description about how the photo relates to you. So they didn't have that requirement when I was applying, but I think it's pretty neat because it kind of gives them an idea of who you are as a person, a student, and who you hope to become. So I think that's pretty cool. So now let's get into how much does it cost? Because that could be a deciding factor on if you decide to attend. So Hampton is a private university. So there is no in-state and out-of-state tuition. It's all one cost. Tuition is $26,198. Then they have um, a comprehensive fee of $2,964. Your room fees are $6,724. Board is $6,232. Then they have a technology fee and a cable and phone fee of $250 each. So that total comes to $42,618 that you will have to pay per semester. And that does not include any books, uh, lab fees, transportation, decorating for your room, all that stuff. So 
it does look a little pricey, but the good thing is there are scholarships that you can apply for through the university and outside of the university. So through the university, Hampton actually offers a multitude of scholarships for first-time freshmen. And just know that it is extremely competitive. So in order to get in on a good foot, you want to make sure that you submit your completed the admission application packets by the early action deadline of November 1st. And they're automatically considered for these awards. So you don't have to worry about filling out a separate scholarship application. So in order to be considered for a merit-based scholarship, you have to have a minimum 3.3 cumulative GPA and a minimum of 1100 on your SAT or a composite score of 22 on the ACT. So once you submit that by November 1st, then they start looking through the applications and that will start in December. And if you do get awarded, they will send you a written letter, um, which will be separate from your offer of admission. The scholarships range from $5,000 to $25,000 per academic year. And then they're based on, as I said before, your GPA and your standardized test scores. And then you can also uh, renew these scholarships for three years beyond the first year. So it will cover you all four years that you are an undergraduate if you are uh, in a four-year program. And uh, as long as you maintain a 3.3 GPA, the entire uh, matriculation. So that's not a bad deal if you are an exceptional student, which if you're watching this, I am sure that you are. Uh, now I want to take you guys on an actual tour of the campus. Um, you'll get to see some of the buildings that you can attend classes in, some of the dormitories, and you'll also um, get guided on this tour by some of the students there. So. I hope you guys are ready. I'm so excited for y'all to see this. Hello, and welcome to Hampton University. My name is Angela Nixon Boyd, and I have the awesome privilege of serving as the Dean of Admission at what I consider to be the best university on this planet. The Office of Admission has the responsibility of sharing the Hampton experience to assist you with the college decision-making process. Today, we invite you to join us for a tour of this amazing campus that we affectionately call our home by the sea. And what better way to do that than to have some of our currently enrolled students take you around the campus. So, let's get started. You're perfectly right, Dean Boyd. We would love to show these future Hamptonians their new home by the sea. My name is Michael Adams. And my name is Celine Hamilton, and we will be your host for today. So, if you're ready, we're ready. Let's go. We're at one of my favorite spots on campus, the waterfront. This is where students come to relax and hang out with friends. And fun fact, it's Wi-Fi accessible. So yes, you can do your work here too. Next on our tour, we've arrived at the newest addition to Hampton University's campus, our Legacy Park. As you walk through Legacy Park, you will see statues of many historical figures, such as our founder, General Samuel Chapman Armstrong. And our president, Dr. William R. Harvey, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., President Barack Obama, and Rosa Parks. Now we're at Hampton University's Memorial Chapel. Chapel is non-denominational and holds services every Sunday from 11 to 12. Next, we've arrived at Hampton University's Academy Building. The Academy Building houses our Naval ROTC program as well as the William R. Harvey Leadership Institute program. The goal of the Leadership Institute program is to prepare students for leadership roles in their chosen profession. This is W.E.B. Du Bois Hall, our only co-ed residence hall on campus. It also houses the Freddie T. Davey Honors College, which offers a curriculum that enhances the regular university experience. James Hall is a newly renovated freshman male residence hall that is fully equipped with suite style living spaces. We have now arrived at the largest freshman female residence hall on campus, Virginia Cleveland Hall, also known as VC Hall. Now I gotta say, this is my favorite residence hall because this is where I stayed my freshman year. 
On the left side, you'll find traditional style rooms, while on the right side, you'll find sweet style rooms. Welcome to Turner and DuPont Hall. The School of Science is home to majors such as biology, biochemistry, chemistry, computer science, cybersecurity, and physics. Hampton University School of Pharmacy offers an academic program that produces clinically astute professional pharmacists who are currently competent, who expose lifelong learning, and who use technology to their advantage and to that of their patients. The mission of Hampton University School of Pharmacy is to provide contemporary pharmaceutical education that produces highly skilled pharmacists. These pharmacists deliver quality pharmaceutical care to the people of Virginia and the nation. The Hampton University School of Pharmacy is the number one producer of African-American pharmacists in Virginia. Buckman Hall houses a school of business, which includes finance, accounting, and the five-year MBA majors. Also, the school's two computer laboratories and the departments of business administration, management, marketing, entrepreneurial studies, and economics are housed here. The business school recently received resources from Wells Fargo and Prudential Financial to upgrade the school's electronic classrooms and to add future assets for students. We are at the Hampton University School of Engineering and Technology, better known to the students as Olin. Olin was founded in 1995 and prepares professionals to meet the challenges of the global marketplace in the built environment, transportation, and technology. Our engineering students have placed first in the National Advancing Minorities Interest in Engineering Design Challenge competition three years in a row. Hampton University was the first college in the state to offer a nursing program. Hampton University School of Nursing has been training nurses for 129 years and training baccalaureate nurses for 27 years. We are the oldest continuous baccalaureate program in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We continue to strive to be the number one producer of multicultural nurses in the nation. Rear Admiral Sylvia Trent Adams has served as the Acting Surgeon General and is now the Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Health in the United States of America and is a proud Hampton University School of Nursing graduate. Next, we've arrived at Armstrong Hall, which houses the School of Liberal Arts and Education, as well as the university's English, Mass Media, Foreign Language, and Music Departments. The Little Theater can also be found inside, where plays are put on each semester free of charge for our students. The Hampton University Marching Force is the largest and loudest student organization on campus. Comprised of over 200 members, the Marching Force has performed in Barack Obama's inaugural parade, the New Year's Day parade in Rome, Italy, and the Honda Battle of the Bands. The drumline has also performed in the Tournament of Roses Parade, and the band has recently been selected to perform in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The next academic building on our tour is the Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Communication. Scripps Howard was founded in 2002 and houses the majors of Strategic Communications and Journalism. Inside, the building holds an auditorium, TV station, radio station, as well as seminar rooms. Scripps Howard is also the home of the student-affiliated radio station, WHOV-FM 88.1. So be sure to check it out on your way home. So, if your future is being a radio personality, journalist, or editor, Scripps Howard is your home. Welcome to the heart of all things student activities, the Student Center. Inside the Student Center, you'll find an indoor track, a fitness center, a movie theater, a bowling alley, as well as various food options. And from 12 to 2 on Fridays, the Student Center turns into a party. Across the street from the Student Center is our football stadium, also known as Armstrong Stadium. From new student orientation week to graduation, you will have countless memorable moments here as a Hamptonian. Hampton University is a Division I school and a proud member of the Big South Conference. Behind me is the William R. and Norma B. Harvey Library. The library has five floors, and on each floor, you're sure to find a nice and comfortable place to study. It is also equipped with a 24-hour study room and computer labs. We have now arrived at Hampton University's cafeteria. Hampton opened their new $25 million, 100,000-square-foot cafeteria in the summer of 2012. 
It seats about 1,000 people and has a variety of food selections, such as a fruit bar, a salad bar, a grill station offering burgers and steaks, wraps, and pizzas, along with traditional entrees. It is also buffet style, meaning you can go back for more. Directly behind me, we have our circle of flags, also known as Ogden Circle. Each flag that you can see represents a different nationality that is represented on this campus. Now, legend has it that if at any point you walk across the grass as an undergraduate student, you won't graduate on time. So, future Hamptonians, stay off the grass. In front of Ogden Circle, we have Robert C. Ogden Hall, named after our notable Board of Trustee member. This is the main location for larger events, such as talent shows, concerts, and pageants. Welcome to Hampton University's museum, built in 1903. It is the oldest African-American museum in the country and the oldest museum in Virginia, featuring thousands of Native and African-American art. It is also open to the public, so you're always welcome to come and go as you please. We are now ending our tour at our national landmark, Emancipation Oak. This is where the Emancipation Proclamation was read to the newly freed slaves in the Hampton Roads area. Selena and I would like to thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of our home by the sea. We hope you enjoyed your experience and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Please make sure to connect with us via Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Details on the application process can be found at www.hamptonu.edu. So I hope that y'all enjoyed that tour as much as I did. It definitely brought back some memories, very fond ones. Um, I was in Virginia Cleveland Hall when I was a freshman. I would go to the student center um, between 12 and 2, although when I was in school, we had it every day, not just on Friday. But everything that they have shown you is very much how it was when I was in school with a few improvements, but it is incredible. And it is known as one of the top HBCUs in the country. And I think that it has come a long way from its beginning in 1868. But if you have any questions about Hampton or any of the other colleges that you have seen on our virtual college tours, please email us at projectreadygreenville at urbanleagueupstate.org for more information. And I hope that you guys have a great afternoon. I hope that y'all are staying safe and hopefully I'll be seeing you soon.